That's why when you looked at the document that The Intercept published, you see all those black bars blacking certain things out. Well, that set off alarm bells at the NSA. They looked at what The Intercept sent them, and they realized that it was folded in half, creased, suggesting, analysts said, that somebody had printed it out, folded it up, and taken it out of the building where they worked. They figured out that only six people who received the document working for the NSA had actually printed it. They looked at their email use and found out that only one had been in touch with the NSA. And they say when she was confronted at her house on Saturday, she admitted that she mailed it to the Intercept. Just wow. incredible. Pete, of course, this isn't the first. We had the Edward Snowden case. We also had the recent Harold Martin case involving right. contractors with NSA. How much concern is there about outsourcing with such sensitive information? Mm -hmm. Well, that's one big issue here. And the second thing is that she didn't, this was not part of her normal duty to look at this kind of document. So she had to go searching through the computer system do, using search terms to find it, the FBI says. So I'm sure that once again, the NSA is going to look at uh, how, uh, the access that people get. On the other hand, the NSA did very fast figure out who they claim did this. Yeah, very fast. Uh, a lot of details and how they tracked her down. Right. All right. Pete Thank Williams. You, Pete. And Pete has more reporting on this story just ahead on NBC Night.